Craft Shows, 12 Key Tips, to Help You Sell More Merchandise. Craft Shows can be the number one moneymaker for a woodworking business. But not all shows are alike. If you're planning to sell at craft shows, you'll find these 12 tips quite useful. Number 1, build a list of potential shows as outlets to sell your crafts. Before you attend as a vendor, visit as a scout. Pay attention to the number and variety of vendors, and, how many visitors are walking away with purchases in hand. Notice where crowds are forming. Spot preferable booth locations that you'd like to test for yourself. When you come across a promising show, submit your application early, and, indicate your preferred locations. This can help you get a better spot, certainly one that's better than a last-minute entrant could expect. Number 2, learn everything about each chosen show, before committing to it. Does this show have a track record of success? Does it draw huge crowds? Or is it new on the scene? What does it cost for a standard size booth? The best shows are those that are well established and pull large numbers of buyers. Naturally, they're also the most expensive, and, difficult to break into. But cracking the code here, and getting notable exposure, can be a game changer, for your emerging woodworking business. Number 3, Play by the Rules. Once you get into a popular craft show, you'll want to stay because, it's highly profitable. One strong show can make all the difference to your bottom line. Therefore, it's of the utmost importance to be a cooperative vendor, and, a positive influence on the show overall. That's the best way to ensure your spot in the same show next year. Number 4, make a list of all the things you think you're going to need. This should include things like folding tables, display shelves and racks, credit card processing, and adequate change, for those who like to pay cash. If the show is outdoors, you'll need a canopy tent with proper tie-downs to secure it. Don't forget to bring a dolly or wagon, to carry loads of stock from your vehicle to the show booth. Signage is another key element. And business cards allow people to contact you later for additional orders, either directly, or via your website or online store. Number 5, present your products in the most eye appealing way. How you display your woodcrafts can make all the difference. Highlight your best, most popular designs with quality display racks, shelves, or other fixtures. Don't leave your display products stacked inside boxes under the table. That's fine for storing extra inventory. But to make the most sales possible, you've got to have your goods on display at, or near, eye level. Number 6, Ensure an adequate supply of products. Have more items on hand, or readily available, than you expect to sell at the busiest of shows. The last thing you want is to run dry and have little left to offer, before, the craft show is over. You're paying rent for the full duration of the show. Empty shelves means lower profits for you and disappointed customers, not to mention, unhappy show management. Plan to sell plenty of merchandise and always have backup inventory. Number 7, gather various product display ideas and use those that could work for you. Attend all kinds of shows including, craft shows, art shows, home shows, and trade shows, looking for ideas. But also check out various malls in your area, and, whenever you're out of town. When you see an excellent product display, consider how you might do the same for your craft show booth. Number 8, make your show booth as eye-catching and welcoming as possible. Quality, well-made wood crafts of all kinds, particularly when you've used a mix of woods and colors, naturally attract the eye. So they're likely to stop any interested buyer in their tracks. Make it easy and welcoming for prospective buyers to step inside and take a closer look. This approach almost always works better than a closed-off booth. Number 9, make your craft show booth look like a first-class craft boutique. This means having a well-stocked booth, with quality fixtures, that indicate you're in this business for the long haul, rather than merely attempting to seize an opportunity. If you must have a chair, get one that sits higher, like a bar stool or director's chair. This establishes a more welcoming approach since it places you closer to the eye level of your visitors. Number 10, 
conduct a trial run of your booth before you get to the show. Planning is crucial and it's best to begin with a drawing, done to scale, of your actual booth, with every fixture in place. Setting up your booth within the allowed parameters can alert you to potential problems you can resolve, in advance of the show. Taking a few snapshots of your setup and submitting those along with your application, can only help you get accepted into a show the first time around. Number 11, Tell Your Story. People love crafts because they are unique, handmade items. Buyers are often fascinated by how you actually begin with raw material and convert this substance into something of much greater value. If you build toys, puzzles, or products of various shapes, having your scroll saw there and figuratively demonstrating how you make what you do, can help. It fuels the imagery of handmade, while adding to the charm, and, appeal of your products. This approach can also help you get into a show where there are plenty of competitors, all vying for a limited number of placements. Number 12, Network with Other Vendors. Plenty of craftspeople earn a living selling their wares via craft shows, alone. Those who have been doing it for a number of years can be a wealth of inside information. They know the shows most worth attending and the people you need to know. Be a friendly neighbor someone who keeps an eye out as an ally to other vendors. This will serve you well and over time. You'll learn about more opportunities, as well as the shows to avoid. New, unproven shows fall into the latter category, since they haven't yet attracted a loyal following of craft buyers. Huge untapped potential awaits you. Now, give yourself the advantage of added intelligence by clicking the link below in the description.